Hello, Stuart from Upcycle TV. Today I'm going to build a false window here in my office. I've marked it up. Basically, I've ordered a picture from photowalls.co.uk, which is like a, a scene from Venice. We've got buildings and the canal and stuff running through it. It's going to go here in the centre, and we're going to build the wall out. So uh, like a sort of nice arch and build it out so it's got a bit of depth in there and it looks hopefully it's going to look really cool. So it's a thousand wide so I've marked it up here from the centre. Just going to put some batten frame up now with some CLS and, um, and then it's going to have an MDF face on the front ready to stick the picture to the wall. No, what are you doing with that bit of wood? I don't know. Well... I'm, I'm, I'm doing the other side, aren't I? No. Oh. You're doing that last hole at the top. Oh, I'm You said you saw when you saw what I did, so off you go. Oh, I know what you're doing. Okay, good. What is he doing? All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Sure. Yeah, I've been doing something wrong. Okay, carry on then. You said, like you said, you, you, like, you hit him like that and then you... So you weren't watching, were you? I was. I'm going to do it now. And if I get it wrong, you can laugh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I drilled a hole first. Very well. That's oh, only in the, the wood. Wall. Yes. <laughs> to there. Don't go down here, like just to about there, yeah? No, that yeah, straight. It's got to be straight. The drill has got to be level. That's it, yep. I don't know. Uh, did you go to where I said? Right yeah, that's it then. Take it out. Oh God, it's sort of yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. You ain't got a battery in there. <laughs> battery on there, Jack. Jack. They work better. <laughs> 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 Put pressure on it. We've got the first piece of MDF on here, so Strip down there, strip down there, strip along the bottom, that's the main framework done. I'm really excited because my picture's turned up today. 
Um, that's come after just two days, so I'm going to get it opened and get it put up now. Semolina. got the first stage of the framework done now. Next bit I'm going to do is put the picture up here. Um, so it's wallpaper, wallpaper to the wall. And then with, I'm going to finish off building some sort of window frame around here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. absolutely fantastic I'm really pleased with it it's got lots of depth got the lovely reflection in the water it's kind of look really cool still a bit of work to do Um, I'm just going around with a standing knife and sort of cutting bits of the edges off and also sanding it down so it's smooth. Um, putting a bit more filler in places, just trying to make it feel like a lump of stone rather than bits of wood stuck together. So yeah, a little bit of work um, left to do on here. So I'll just show you like on this edge here, run the knife down. just taking off a bit of the sharp edge and then go over it with the sandpaper and you get this nice kind of natural stony edge feel to it it's good I was shopping in brewers earlier I was trying to find the right sort of shade and the right size tins I come across um, the little green paint company which I've heard before um, they do paint and paper and it's a really lovely product, very eco-friendly, low carbon footprint, all that kind of thing. Um, and a lovely quality paint as well. So I decided to get that mixed up. I've got a nice sort of rich chocolatey stone colour.
Please don't sing. Because every time you sing, I've got to cut that out because you're so bad at singing. I've got to like save people's ears. Chocolate stone. Stop it, please. Oh my god. People won't even know what you're on about either. <laughs> but what do I need to talk about the chocolate so stone? What's he on about? I said don't paint that bit, didn't I? You, you started painting that bit, so I was like, oh, well, we're doing that bit now, then. Mm, you didn't say that, though, did you? Just well, you, it. you were doing the other side. Look like, doesn't look right now, does it? The thick dark line going down it. Before you said the thick dark line, I didn't even notice it was like that. Looks fine, Dad. It was like that before. It wasn't. It was a good cup of coffee, actually, yeah. Well, there you go. I do make a good cup of coffee. That's spreading the wings, but I do make a good cup of coffee. I'm going to put as well. You can't quite see on the camera, I'm sure, the detail in here, but actually, I've got the, the contrast right now between the light and the dark. It's, it's looking good, yeah. It's going to take a bit of sort of playing around with it, but, yeah, I'm... I'm um, I'm happy with how it's looking now, so I'm just going to carry on with a bit more paint. Key to the dry brushing is that the brush really is dry because if you have too much paint on there, then it just doesn't work. Well, we can get this looking like. So I'm still dry brushing, but this is um, much heavier. Now gone another whole coat of the lighter colour right over the whole thing. I'm going to distress it a little bit with some sandpaper. actually brought it up really nicely. I've highlighted a little bit with some white paint. Just to, I was just trying that out as a technique and I thought, actually, to the eye it doesn't look great, but on camera it looks, it looks a lot better. So I'm going to keep that. But I also tried something else and I'm just experimenting with this. Um, so I've got a little bit of green paint here, courtesy of Fairy Chic. Um, great little chalk paint. Um, and I'm just, just putting a little bit on my finger and I'm just rubbing it in, literally with my finger like that. 
and it actually gives like a really cool mossy effect. How could I make it look more like stone? And then I thought, what about if it had some little cracks in it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a chisel and a hammer to put some cracks effect into the full stonework. Um, and then I've got some browning wax. So I'm just gonna rub the browning wax into the cracks once I've done it. Hey ho! I'm finished! At last! I'm really... I'm, I am happy with it now. This is the final thing. Um, I'm really pleased I've done it. So the last thing I did was put the browning wax on and I put these fake cracks and dents and marks in it just to kind of bring the age bit in a bit more. But I think with the, the lightness, with the browning wax over the top now, and also you've still got the sort of green patches the layers, the dark bits we did, the bit of distress and we did, it's all coming through now into one. Um, and it does look, it does look, I think it looks pretty good, stone, good stone effect. I love the, uh, I love the cracks that we did, subtle cracks, which you probably can't see on the camera here. All I've got to do now is just go back over the white on the outside, because I, that's messy stuff when you're waxing, isn't it? So, um, yeah, that was a that needs doing, but yeah, no, I'm really happy with it. It's good contrast. I think it goes better with the background image now. Um, yeah, this is that, that's that job done.